Hey, it's Heather. Today we're talking wine. I'm gonna teach you how to taste wine. Everybody knows how to drink wine, but I'm gonna teach you how to taste it so that you can remember it, categorize it, and buy it or not buy it again. Five steps. You have to look at the wine, swirl it, smell it, taste it, and then consider it. So, the first thing you need is a piece of white paper so you can get a good look at it, and a clear glass. I'm gonna start with a Verdejo from Spain from the Rueda section. And we're gonna look for three things. First, we wanna see if it's brown. Either white or red, you don't want a brownish tinge, that means it's oxidized. Also, we were looking for a, uh, if there's a sparkle to it, like a champagne, that means it's a secondary fermentation. We're not interested in that. And finally, is it clear? Cloudiness indicates some bacterial shenanigans that will not taste good. So this wine is looking good to me. Now you gotta swirl it. Gotta release those aromas. Swirl it so that we can give it a big smell. The first thing we are smelling for are problems. Funky basement, you don't want it. Mold, wet dog, wet cardboard. It's corked, send it back. Also though, there's some good things to smell for and we're gonna smell for familiar scents that we can connect. Uh, fruits, vegetables, minerals. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a smell and tell you what I get. Yep, I'm definitely getting a nice citrus. I'm getting a little green and uh, a little mineral, which is exactly what I anticipated. And here's my visual. Little citrus, little green, little stones in there. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is taste it and you have to get your whole mouth into the act. The tongue, tip of the tongue, detects sweetness, the sides acidity. And the center of the tongue is where you get the weight of the wine. Wine has weight, light, medium, and full-bodied, which is sort of like skim milk, milk, and cream. It, it tells you about the alcohol content. The lighter the wine, the less the alcohol. So here we go. I always do a little extra swirl, so maybe I can get another whiff. Nice, bright acidity, my gosh. The sides of my tongue are tingling, salivating, bone dry and uh, it's a light weight. The flavors, again, definitely get that stoniness, a touch of green and citrus, so it all matches well. Finally, I'm gonna consider it. Does it finish well? Is it balanced? And would I pay the price, which is $10? And I'll say absolutely yes, so this gets a yes. Now, I'm gonna move on to reds. Now, the only thing you need to consider with reds that is not present in whites are tannins. Tannins are an astringent, sort of bitter quality that change the texture of the inside of your mouth, making it feel like soft velvet or suede or on the dark side, sort of like rough sandpaper. It should be pleasing. Here we have a Malbec from Argentina. I'm looking at it and I'm not seeing any brown, which definitely makes me happy. The, the, the bubbles here are just from the pour still. And again, nice and clear. I don't see any cloudiness. Um, sediment is okay, like I said. Now, I'm gonna give it a swirl. No funky basement, I get a lot of fruit. I get red fruit here, and here's my visual. I have a red plum, and something a little darker, like a blackberry. Now I'm gonna taste it, and remember, I'm also gonna feel for the inside of my mouth to change. Mm. I can feel it already. Astringent quality, but soft, not at all too harsh. Uh, it's a medium to full-bodied red. It's about milk, like a heavy milk. And uh, the flavors match well with one distinction. It has a little bitter quality, which is why I have a few little coffee beans in here, uh, because it's definitely there. It has a nice, pleasing bitterness. And again, I wanna think about the finish. Overall, I think it's balanced. It's $13, would I pay 13 for this? I believe I would, this is a good wine. So when I'm thinking about pairing it with food, the first thing I wanna consider is, um, I, I like to pair food and wine, they should match. So this, the white wine here, has a nice bright acidity, a light body, it'll work well with a salad, which is light and crisp. It also has that green quality to it. A cheese that will go well is a goat cheese. It's nice and fresh and very tangy and it's lighter. Goat cheeses are lighter. So definitely the Verdejo with a goat cheese. Now for the reds, let me tell you something about tannins. They work beautifully with fat. 
fat of that heavy blue cheese and it's got a nice uh, forward taste that'll match with the fruit, works well. And the best, best, best match with the red with tannins is a lovely steak. Match made in heaven. It's less about the color and more about the tannins and the weight. So that is what I have. My little tasting in, you know, five minutes. Look at the wine, swirl the wine, smell the wine, taste it, and then say yes or no for the price. That's what I have for you today, but you know there's more on the website, soak it.tv. See you next time. Thanks.